I was sh sheltered from my preconceived ideas. I thought I bought beef at the grocery store and I didn't really think about where it came from. The only preconceived ideas that I had about agriculture and farming and ranching are things that I've seen on different documentaries that I've shown in my classroom. I, I thought that I was sort of informed about my food choices and where food comes, but I, I find that it really I have a lot more to, to learn. Actually, what I learned from this is that raising cows is not just raising cows, it is involving so many careers, microbiology, genetics, uh, ecology, um, environmental sciences, accounting, business management, it's a, it's a whole thing. And I think that's one of the things that we experienced when we were out on the farms is that we saw systems and processes that were interconnected that could not be separated for um, function of both um, plants and animals and people survival. There is more to farming and, and ranching and really the purpose behind it is to feeding you know these nine and a half billion people by the year 2050. That um, has really opened my eyes, made me see um, and listen a little bit differently than I did before. I think my eye-opening moment or aha moment was seeing how much the industry is connected to one another and how everybody knows each other and wants to work together. Like they all work with universities, they all work with research. It's just, it's so connected. I think what stood out for me the most on this trip was the technology and how much it's improved both the lives of cattle, the efficiency of the cow life cycle, and how that has improved the quality of the food that we eat and just the experience overall that farmers and cattle seem to have. I believe that my aha moment was the importance of facts in labeling and all of the preconceived notions that we receive through media and advertising and that how it's really not matching up. So I think what I take back to the classroom is um, job opportunities. You know they're out there, but getting to see them, you can teach them a little bit better. Um, also teaching the kids how to look beyond what's presented in media because it's very strong and very opinionated and there's more out there than just the media ideas and since they're so strongly influenced by it, it's important for them to know what's really happening. Uh, one of the things that uh, really impressed upon me was ag literacy and being able to uh, take that back because I feel like a lot of our students are not aware uh, of where our food comes from, uh, how it's managed and how it's processed. There is so much math in what these people are doing and science and social studies and language arts. You can hit all the curriculums and I think the kids would really appreciate knowing what they're eating and where it's from. You know, I spend weeks on engineering, but I can do the same thing, but embed it within agriculture. This, this trip has definitely taught me so much about STEM in agriculture, um, STEM in the beef uh, market, um, STEM, how STEM, all of STEM content is, is possible and possibly taught through agriculture. This is a great program and uh, there's several people uh, that I would love to come and see uh, what goes on here, some big influencers I think that would help our county uh, to become more ag literate and to be able to share with our students uh, and build that ag knowledge in them as they're learning. Well, I'm a math teacher. I have no experience with agriculture, but this was eye-opening. And I think that's what we need, is people who don't know a lot about agriculture experiencing this, because there's a huge amount of people in this country who have no idea what's going on here.